In this morning's Health Watch, chicken pox parties. Even with the vaccine available, these parties are still popular. But is it an effective way to immunize children? Joining us is Dr. Alana Levine, a pediatrician. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. First of all, explain how these parties work and why they exist. Right. Well, they actually first started in the pre-vaccine era. The symptoms of the chickenpox tend to be more severe in older children, adolescents, and adults. So the idea was you really wanted to affect, have your children become affected with the illness Get it out early. of the way. Exactly. So one person has it in the community, throw a party, bring all the kids around, and let them all have it at the same time. Okay. So why, if there's a vaccine, would parents want to go to these parties and not just get their children vaccinated? Well, that's a good question. I think these parties now are totally outdated. The vaccine is safe. It's effective, and I really feel that parents should vaccinate their children rather than exposing them to the illness and potential complications from the illness. So is it because there are, there are parents out there mm -hmm. who fear autism? Right. And the medical community says no. There is no link between vaccinations. I mean, there's a big debate. I mean, right, is that exactly. why these parties exist today? That is why the parties exist today. Parents feel that they'd rather naturally have their child get the chicken pox than have a foreign substance like a vaccine. So if I'm a parent, why not do it then? Is there a downside to going to these parties? Well, you have to under understand how the chicken pox works. Basically, you, become, you come in contact with the vaccine but there's an incubation period. So there's a time where you don't know that you have it, okay? And that actually is when you're most contagious, one to two days before the pox actually come out. So once the pox come out and you throw this party, the parties aren't really working. I talked to moms who actually have brought their kids to three and four parties and still their kids don't have the chicken pox. Dr. Alana Levine, thank you. You're